Welcome to our show, The Sound of the Trumpet. I'm your host, Faith Marie Batsko, bringing you critical insight and revelation to position you securely in Christ for the season ahead. Hello and welcome to The Sound of the Trumpet. I'm Faith Marie Batsko, and today I have a very encouraging word to bring. The title is, The Set Time of Favor Has Come. Recently, I've been hearing these words ringing in my spirit. For the set time, the time to favor her has come. That's actually taken from Psalms 102 verse 13. So God sets the timing for favor to be released according to his purposes for specific seasons. The body of Christ is being established now and positioned by God into a new sphere of supernatural favor to accomplish his plan and his will in the season and the days ahead. The enemy is counteracting with fierce warfare against the people of God, and we can easily miss the movement that is now breaking out by becoming distracted by our personal warfare. There are places that God is about to take us and things he has ordained for us that only he can orchestrate. These are things that require supernatural intervention that we cannot do for ourselves. When the appointed time arrives, God's favor will suddenly open doors, phone calls will be received, and divine appointments will occur in a spirit of serendipity, where events suddenly happen by chance to aid and benefit us for the road ahead and to benefit the kingdom of God. God will bring us to the forefront and position us where he needs us to be, to release the influence assigned to us. Each one of us has a voice, and a voice of influence to affect the atmosphere around us and to usher in God's kingdom purposes. God uses prophetic voices to build the spiritual structures he needs for a particular season to hold the new dynamic of his will for that time. As he told Jeremiah in chapter 1 verse 9 to 10, Behold, I have put my words in your mouth. See, I have set you this day over nations and over kingdoms to pluck up and to break down, to destroy and to overthrow, and to build and to plant. Finances will come in on time to support the work and to get the job done. Things will happen spontaneously because God is on your side and he's working to bring you into your place of influence assigned to you for 2022 and the years ahead. You have been faithful and obedient over the years, persevering through the trials and the waiting for your time. And now God says the time of favor has come. Let me read Psalms 102, 13 again. It says, you will arise and have mercy on Zion. That's God speaking to you. He will arise and have mercy on you for the time to favor her. Yes, the set time has come. The Hebrew word for favor in this passage is kanan, and it means to bestow favor. It means to bend down in kindness to an inferior. Isn't that amazing that God looks upon us? He stoops down, he bends down to bless us with a kiss of favor. And the word set time, where it says the set time has come, is the word moed. And it means an appointment and a fixed time or season, a due season. And uh, this is so exciting because it just shows that your time, your appointment, your fixed time, your due season has come. God does ordain set times of favor for his people, corporately and for individuals. It's their due season. Sometimes these, these times, these set times are appointments in his presence 
where he imparts to us what is needed for the new assignment. So expect some encounters with the Holy Spirit in the days ahead as he prepares you for your assignment and your sphere of influence for the year ahead. God will not ask you to do what he is not prepared to support and to ensure takes place. However, to occupy this new place prepared for you will require what may seem to be a risk, but they are just steps of faith God is calling you to, causing you to press through the new doors and to occupy your new territory. Favor to accomplish the will of God is completely orchestrated by Him. It is not anything that you can work up or strive to attain. We have to trust God. We have to be obedient. We have to take the risk and we have to trust Him by faith to accomplish everything that needs to be accomplished to, to establish us in this new place for 2022. The people who need to find you will find you. God's plan will search you out and establish you. When you honor God with your life and you honor what he honors, the doors of favor will begin to swing wide open for you. When you keep him in first place as your number one priority, he does the same for you. Doors will begin to open that no one can shut. And when he shuts doors that need to be shut, doors from the past, no one can open them again because we have stepped into a new day and the old doors are locked. Isaiah 22, 22 is the key of favor being offered to us in this year. It is the key promise to David, to Jesus, and to the followers of Jesus, those who are born again into him. It is a key of favor that opens doors into kingdom realms and realities and possibilities that only God can open. David was very precious to God and a man God delighted in because of his obedience and his humility. And the Lord defended and protected David's destiny to rule as king. He surrounded David with favor to ensure that his will and his plan and his destiny for David's reign as the king of Israel, that it would take place. Joseph and Daniel and Esther, these were other saints who were also beloved by God the Father. The Lord preserved each one of them for set times and for assignments in key moments of history. Joseph was sent ahead and given great, incredible favor to preserve life, according to Genesis 45, verse 5. So he was prepared for that moment of history, and so are the saints living in this time. We are a generation chosen by God to serve him and to partner him, with him in his plans for what lies ahead. We are coming into a season of the resurrection glory of God. And this glory is the weight of his substance as God. Our internal capacity to contain God is increasing and making us ready to be thrust out. The resurrection anointing is now getting us ready to break out of the grave and break out of the old dead places. How does this happen? God is our thrust. He is the fire and the power beneath our feet. When we are thrust out, there will be no turning back. The word key in Isaiah 20, 22 is from the root word pathak, and it means to open wide and to break forth, to loosen and to let go free. Hallelujah. That's what God is about to do. He's about to let us go free to run the race he has ordained for our lives. This is the new dynamic we are entering into this year. 
the opening of doors, the impartation of keys. If God says the set time has come, well then get ready. Step into your place and take your position. God is now planting seeds of peace and prosperity in a time where we're being called to finish the work to complete the building of his house. So what will sabotage the favor of God in your life? The answer is when you try to do it yourself, when you attempt to control and to push yourself forward, this will completely shut down the movement of the Holy Spirit as he is the one that is in control. We need to have the attitude of Moses who wanted all that was his portion and was not willing to settle for anything less than what was promised and available to him. He knew that it required the favor of God. Moses said to the Lord, Moreover, you have said, I have known you by name and you have also found favor in my sight. Now, therefore, I pray to you, if I have found favor in your sight, let me know your ways that I may know you, so that I may find favor in your sight. Consider, too, that this nation is your people. And God said to him, my presence shall go with you and I will give you rest. You see, Moses understood that God's presence was needed for the world to recognize the source of the favor on his life and on, upon the people of God. And Moses answered him and said, If your presence does not go with us, do not lead us up from here. For how then can it be known that I have found favor in your sight, I and your people? Is it not by your going with us that we, I and your people, may be distinguished from all the other people who are upon the face of the earth? God's presence is his favor that will be going with us in the days ahead. Wow, hallelujah. Through all the favor that is coming to us, the world will be experiencing much shaking on every front and in every sphere. Shaking must and will happen in order to expose the rotten foundations and the root system of present world structures. Shaking will cause the structures built on these foundations to topple. The foundation of lies and deception will not be able to sustain the weight of these demonic world systems. Such foundations found propping up carnal agendas in the church also will be exposed by the shaking. Hebrews 12, 28 tells us, Therefore, since we are receiving a kingdom which cannot be shaken, let us have grace by which we may serve God acceptably with reverence and godly fear. So that is our position this year and in the years ahead. We are standing on ground anchored in Christ that cannot be shaken. So therefore, God is saying we must serve him now acceptably with reverence and godly fear. We are not to fear. We have nothing to fear because in God, in Christ, we live and we move and we have our being and nothing can touch him. I feel that as we have walked through two years in 2020 and 2021 of praying, interceding, decreeing fervently without seeing much fruit, that I believe we are now coming into a type of a third day resurrection glory that is now breaking out in 2022. Who would have thought or predicted that God would answer the cry of the people of Canada and of other nations? That he would answer with a freedom convoy of magnificent and courageous truckers. Wow. We prayed for two years and God came through in the morning of the third year with a suddenly that has caused the world to stop and take notice. Suddenly, we have an army that is comprised of a new breed of freedom fighters taking a stand 
for truth and for justice. Thank you, God, and thank you for the truckers of Canada and in the nations of the world, the ones who are courageous and setting an example even for the church to make their stand and to not accept demonic tyranny. We are a generation of saints called to live today as a forerunner party fashioned to track with Christ in the days moving forward. That is who we are. We are an army. We're a new breed of courageous warriors fighting for the kingdom of God. Not on our own, but in the will and in the presence of God. It is massively important to now stand corporately with our shields locked as God is rising in this hour to perfect all that concerns us and concerns his will being done in our lives. I'm so excited about this word that God gave me recently and I believe it is for all of us, for the body of Christ for this year. It's Isaiah 64, 4. It's also quoted in the New Testament. It says, for since the world began, no ear has heard and no eye has seen a God like you who works for those who wait for him. And we have waited and we have prayed and we have been obedient. And God is now about to bestow his favor upon us in ways that we could not even imagine or think about. No no ear has heard and no eye has seen what he is about to do. We can never uh, second guess God or imagine how he will answer our prayers as he's doing right now in this incredible time of history that you are called to live in and serve him in. So hallelujah. I hope this word blesses you and that it goes deep into your spirit and that it imparts a new DNA of courage in you to stand and to take your place that God has reserved and preserved for you in this year, that you will not be distracted by what the enemy is throwing at you, that you will continue to press forward toward that door that is in front of you that God is opening for you. Don't let anything steal that from you. Grab hold of this opportunity now in this year And uh, I believe there is not going to be such a year again for a long time. You know, there's something very significant about the number 22. And we don't have another 22 year for another 100 years. So grab hold of your destiny right now. Lord, bless everyone who has heard this word. Bless their spirits to rise up, Lord. Lord, that uh, the Holy Spirit within them would cause them to stand in faith and courage and rise to the occasion you've called them to. So I bless you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And uh, have an incredible day. Amen. Help us to get these words out to the body of Christ to rally the troops and those serving the Lord on the front lines. Be sure to subscribe to the show on iTunes and cpnshows.com. And please like and share with your friends. See the links below to our website and our social media pages. God bless you and keep you safe and hidden within Him.